Hi guys, I think we should touch on this quickly. So this is a uh, this is binary. This is called bitwise operators. It's a special operator using bit level programming. They are known as binary, but they come in eight bits. So you have and just like we had before. You have or exclusive or left shift and right shift, and let's see them in action. So and is going to be true when two values in when two um, numbers are true. You understand? So when you have one year and you have one year, it's going to be one. But when you have one year and zero year, it's going to be zero. So let's just do it before I show you how it works. So let's write it out. So we say Z is equal to X and Y. So let's print out the results. Print F. Um, okay. Let's say and is equal to, yeah, that should do it. Let's put a new line character. And what variable are we setting? Z. So let's run this. So it says hand is four. But let's get the value of 4. So let's check it. Let's convert it. So 4, let me go to my browser. I have this converter here. So if we say 4 in decimal, look at what it gave to us. Let's copy it so that we can go back and confirm. So I'll put it as a comment, 4. So if we check it, x is 6, y is 4. And that's why you have this as the decimal. So if we do 0 and 0 is 0, 1 and 0 is 0, but 1 and 1 is 1, 0 and 1 is 0. You understand? That is how AND work. AND is when two of the values or the, um, the integers are true, then it's going to be true. So BIT does it. It compares each one by each one. Okay, it stacks them and, and compares them. Let's try it for all. So all is a pipe. So if we do this for all now, let's see, let's run this. Let's see what all comes out to be. All is 14. So let's check the value of 14. I'll put one in front of this. Now let's copy it and let's go and reconfirm. Now for all, all is true if any of the value is true. So zero and zero is zero, right? One and zero. One or zero is going to be one. One or one is going to be one. 0 or 1 is still going to be 1. So you see how all works. Only one value needs to be true for all to be true. And 0, 0 will always be 0. Now let's try for exclusive or. So exclusive or, you will see how it works now. You use the carrots for exclusive or. So I'm trying to find the carrot on my own keyboard. Sometimes it just disappears. Okay, without, let me just copy this so I don't waste time. Let me copy the carrot I have here already. Most times it's under um, before one. But I'm using another keyboard today, so I can't find it on the new keyboard. So, Z, Z or Y. Now, let's see the value. So, let me clear our output so that... It will be very clear to us. Now, Z or Y is equal to 10, right? And what is the value of 10? Let's check it. Then we'll come back and recompare. You see, this is 10. So let's go back and compare our results. Let me put it here. Now, for all exclusive or you have 0 and 0, 0, 
1 or 0 is 1. But for exclusive or, if two of the values are true, it reverts to 0. Okay? It does the opposite of AND. That's why it's called exclusive or. It only works when you have one of the values to be true. The next one is called left shift. And how do we do the left shift? We do the left shift by using the characters. So let's say something like um, Z is equal to X left shift 2. Okay? So we want to shift the value of X by 2. So let me copy this print and just use it here. Then I will show you how left shift work. Or shift left. So shift left is going to buy two. It's going to move this value of x. This is x. It's going to move x twice here. So it's going to go like this. Let me copy this down here. So this is x currently. So shift left is going to add two zeros here and delete two zeros here. Okay, let's just confirm it. Let's run it. Let me clear the output. So shift left is 24. So let's convert it and see if it compares to what we have up there. So I'll copy that. And I'll replace this. So as you can see, it's the same with what I have here. You see, it's pretty easy to do without converting. So you see, this is shift left. Then for shift right, for shift right, let's use the value of Y, okay? Let's shift Y. Let's shift Y to the right. So Y to the right it means that we are going to add two more values two zeros after he after, before right okay this is shift right capital small letter y so we add two zeros before rather to shift to the right zero zero and we remove the ones that are previously here so this is shift right okay now Let's, let's do this conversion and see if our values match. So shift left now is 3. Let's convert 3 and see if it matches. So you see, I think it matches. Yes, it does. So see, this is it. So guys, basically, it's a very easy one or a straightforward one, but I, I felt we needed to touch it before we proceed. So guys, this is Bitwise Operators. I'll see you in the next video.